Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing well. So in this video we will be learning how to deploy our Spring Boot application to Google Cloud Platform that is GCP. So I was getting a lot of comments, a lot of mails that uh, Heroku has already closed its uh, free server. So on what server we can deploy our application for testing purposes or when we are practicing for coding, right? So uh, I have came across this Google Cloud Platform. I won't say that it is completely free, right? So, uh, but yeah, it will. Pro they will provide you a year's subscription, right? Uh, in which you don't have to pay anything, just that you have to fulfill their billing details, right? You have to enter your card details. So, so when you make your account on Google Cloud, uh, first of all, you should have a Google account, right? And then you have you should enable your uh, Google Cloud account billing, right? So there are some prerequisites before starting up to uh, directly jump to the deployment of the project, right? So in this video, we'll be deploying a hello world example. So we can also deploy a, uh, a Spring Boot application, which is also integrated with a database, be it a MySQL database. So on Google Cloud, we have to enable the Cloud SQL, right? That I'll cover in some separate video, but in today's video, we'll be uh, simply deploying a application uh, which is an hello world example on Spring Boot, right? So it's a new server, right? So there are some prerequisites that are required before jumping to the deployment part. So the prerequisites you can see on your screens that you should have a Google Cloud account and the billing should be enabled. And Cloud's SDK should be installed on your machine. But I have recorded the screen how you can enable the billing for your account and then how you can install the Cloud SDK. Right. So one by one, the videos would be played. So you can go and check that how you can do it. Right. You can follow the steps. Right. The documentation of Google Cloud Platform, I'll link. I'll put that link into the description. You can go and read it uh, point by point. So they provide you a three hundred dollar credit uh, on your free account which you can use while you are uh, developing your applications like you are you using it for testing purposes, right? If your application deployed and how would the, your application look on the servers, right? So now you can, uh, now I'll play the clip of how you can enable billing on your Google Cloud account. So please check this out. Second thing is that uh, we have to download cloud, cloud SDK on our machines, right? So that is important because we are deploying our application on Google Cloud. So the SDK should be installed in your uh, in your machines, right? So now I'll play the video of how to install Google, uh, cloud SDK on your machines, right? You can check this out. So now as you have seen uh, the prerequisites we have already covered right so we have enabled uh, the billing for our account right and we have also installed the cloud SDK on our machines right now the steps are that you should have a uh, you should have or you should develop a new uh, spring boot hello world example right I have already covered those videos so I have the code part I will take that code only and I will tell you that how you should do it right. So uh, we'll jump to the deployment part. But before that, if you find my videos knowledgeable, do like, share and comment on the video. And if you are coming for the first time on my channel, do press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to support the channel. So now all I have already made the project of Hello World. So I've already imported the project in my ID. So now what you can do is you can check the project. I haven't changed anything in the project, right? So there would be a controller to display the uh, written a controller endpoint which will be returning a hello world exam uh, hello world 
on your browsers when you hit this endpoint that is slash hello right and then uh, there is the main class for this package right so there is this main class for this package then they they we have our pom.xml right now no changes in this uh, as well so uh, what we can do is now uh, you can see also i show you the application or properties file any change in the code part right now the change would be that uh, what we have to do is uh, when you will install the google cloud sdk then there a cli would be opened right or it it would it would have given you an option that okay you have to open the cli when the sdk is installed or not so if you have enabled that then the sdk uh, cli would be opened when the sdk is installed right so if it is not open go to the location of your uh, download of uh, cloud sdk and open the cli from there so it was installed already in my machine so i i already have the cli installed right so it would look like this so it would look like uh, your location and then the google sdk right so now what you have to do is uh, first of all uh, you should have a project in your google cloud right you should have a project in your google cloud on which you will deploy the application so how the uh, working of google cloud platform works is right you should have a project already made on your uh, google cloud right that i'll tell you that how you can make it from the browser part right and if your uh, project is made so that project would be used to deploy your jar of this particular spring boot application right so on that particular project this jar would be deployed right so this is how the google Cl cloud platform works right first of all you should uh, have the project in your google cloud so i'll tell you that how to make a project from the browser first so let me go to the browser so when you will go to your google uh, cloud account on your from your browser uh, as i said that 300 dollars of worth credit would be given to you so this is the amount that has been uh, displayed on your console as well that how many days are left for practicing that is 90 days uh, practice would be given to you and three so now uh, what you can do is you can click on this and you can create a new project right if no project has been made then uh, it will automatically give an option of creating a new project here only so you can use any name right uh, it should be a unique id so i have written my deployment to 2354 right so no need of selecting any uh, organization you can simply click, click on create created right you can see here that uh, it is creating the so it says the project has been created and now i'll say select project right so now the project has been selected now what i can do is now you have to go if your project is made from here now you can go to your cli right that is this cloud sdk cli now you what you have to type in here is first you have to initialize it right so you have to type in g cloud in it right so this is an init command that is to initialize it so when you will click on uh, when you will type the initialization command it will ask you that uh, if you want to reconfigure it or if you want to use the uh, settings that are already been made if you are doing it for the first time it will take a little bit of more time but uh, now you can see that there is an option of reinitializing the configuration or create a new configuration so what we will do is we will do a reinitialization of the configuration that is the point one right we'll select the option one so we have selected the option one now it will ask you that you have to log in right if you are doing it for the first time you have to log in from here only you will say that i want to log in then it will redirect you to the to a browser right so i have already logged in so it will give me two options to log in again from a new id or log in from the current id that you are using right so i'll take the first option that okay i am using this particular id so so it says that you are logged in right now it will show me all my projects that are made in my uh, google cloud right so now i have made a new project right in front of you that was my deployment 2354 so the project name is on fourth number right my deployment 2354 so i want to use that project so what you will do is you will select the fourth option if you have made your first project then uh, the first option would be there so you have to select the first option right so I'll select the fourth option. Now my project is being selected. The things and then it is done, right? My project is being selected. Now what you have to do is you have to go to your project, go to the directory of the project, right? So what you have to do is you have to go to your project directory and type in CMD, 
right a command prompt will get open now what you have to do it you have to first compile your project right when you will compile your project a jar file would be made and then you have to deploy that jar file on your project right so i'll tell you the commands so first of all you have to compile the project as we are using maven in our project so there is a maven command to uh, compile the project that is mvn clean install minus d skip test right so minus d skip test is used to uh, avoid compiling the test classes right so enter this command so it will start compiling your project and make a jar file in the target folder right the, so build is success now you will go to the directory of the project and when you click on the target folder you can see that there is a jar file made already for this project so now what you have to do is you have to simply deploy this jar file and then your server is up right so you will go to again you will go to your cmd and you have to type in a command that is simply say uh, simply first go to the target folder go to the directory of target folder so you have to type in cd target right so we are in the target folder now we can uh, simply get the jar file so what we can say is g cloud app deploy right and then you have to type the name of the jar file so i'll copy the name from here only so i'll copy the name from here and i'll paste this and i'll say dot jar right so i simply say gcloud app deploy and my jar file name so it will take few of the steps as you are deploying it for the first time it will take a little longer i have already deployed it so it will it might take uh, it might not take much of time what what is the option that it has given me that okay on which region you have to deploy your application right so you can uh, choose any region according to your needs but i can choose the region of asia east 2 right that that will provide me support standard and flexible and search apis so i'll select the option 2 and i'll say enter whatever project i'll deploy it will get it will get deployed on this particular project only i have selected this particular project from cli of gcloud right so now it it says me that are you okay that you are deploying your jar file on this particular project right so it says that are you okay that uh, we are deploying your jar file on this particular project and my answer would be yes i am okay and then it says that okay the target url would be this this is the url that you have to put on your browser and you have to go till that endpoint to see the results right so now it says that do you want to continue i'll say yes so now my service has been deployed right so it says that the service has been deployed on this particular url so you can access this particular url right let me copy this particular url so this url also contains your project name right so you will go to the browser right type in this url so you can see that my deployment 2354 is there in this right so it says 404 okay yeah uh, we have the endpoint to run right right so let me copy this out and let me paste in the browser and it should say so it says hello world how are you doing right so this is being this is coming from here right now our hello world application is deployed on the server right so this is how you can deploy hello world example in just few minutes on google cloud platform right so it is an another server that you can use for some testing purposes or you can deploy so this was about that how you can deploy your hello world spring boot applications on uh, google cloud platform right so hope that you people like share comment on the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so this was it from this video. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.